In next five modules, I will share key aspects of traffic engineering discipline as a profession. I will share following key areas of traffic engineering in upcoming modules. Traffic studies of road projects. Multi-level car park study. Car park design. Road safety audits. Road markings and signs design. So, what is traffic engineering? Traffic engineering uses latest techniques to provide safe and efficient movement of traffic along the road links and junction. Following are the key industries, if you choose traffic engineering as a profession. Construction industry. Consulting firms. Government organizations. Funding agencies and educational and research centers. Within construction industry, you have intelligent transportation systems providers, advanced traffic controller providers, urban traffic management controllers. Within consulting firms, you have traffic and transportation planning consulting firms, infrastructure financing advisory firms, asset management consulting firms and international NGOs. Within government organization, you have development authorities, regulatory authorities and road safety agencies. Now, we will discuss traffic analysis process, which is required for pre-bid advisory projects or DPR. DPR means detailed project report. Following stages are required as part of pre-bid advisory road construction project to assist contractors or financial bodies during tender stage. Traffic analysis. Traffic forecasting. Revenue estimate. Within traffic analysis, we do traffic volume analysis, origin and destination survey, modal distribution, junction, turning movement, survey. These analysis are required for prelim design and detailed design stage of the project. In order to assess through traffic, Passing from a project area, origin, and destination surveys are conducted. What is through traffic? Suppose a highway is passing through a town and connecting point 1 to point 2, then the traffic running between point 1 and 2 is through traffic for the town. In this survey, our main objective is to find through traffic because this traffic will potentially use the new bypass if constructed. Please see the junction modeling video for a quick flavor. I will also discuss car park study and design. Multi-level car park study has three key stages parking and traffic survey parking demand conceptual parking layout there are four stages of parking and traffic survey site survey on street parking survey willingness to pay survey survey analysis and finding we will cover all four stages of analysis and car park design in a detailed manner There are five types of parking layout used for car park design. Parallel parking. Angular parking at 90 degree angle. Angular parking at 60 degree angle. Angular parking at 45 degree angle. Angular parking at 30 degree angle. Now suppose you have to design a new car park in new greenfield area, as shown in the picture. 
do you know, how to do that? Don't worry, we will also provide you, a detailed, car park design process. You will get to know, the car park design process, as shown here. We will also discuss, road safety audit, and, the stages of road safety audit. Road safety audit, is not a single procedure, undertaken once for each scheme. Road safety audit, and, its subsequent actions, shall be undertaken, following the completion of specific stages of schemes development. Stage 1, after, the completion of prelim design. Stage 2, after, the completion of detailed design. Stage 3, after, the completion of construction. Stage 4, after, the construction and monitoring. Once you understand, all stages of road safety audit, you will get to know, how to audit, an unsafe junction. This is an unsafe junction. There is, no road marking, and, directional arrows. No pedestrian crossing facilities. No facilities, for cyclist. No speed monitoring cameras. So, what is the solution? Solution is, to make this junction, safer, by providing followings. Three lane, dual carriageway road markings. Controlled pedestrian crossing, with refuge islands, friendly for wheelchair, and, pushchair. Unidirectional. Cycle lanes. Blister tactile, for blind pedestrians. Regulatory signs, and, speed limit signs. Speed monitoring cameras. By doing this, we can change, a completely unsafe junction, to a safe junction. I will share, how to improve, an urban road junction. Provide, controlled pedestrian crossing. Provide wider footpaths. Provide, unidirection cycle lanes. I will provide, a complete understanding, of road marking design. I will cover, a detailed design process, of the followings. White marking design. Yellow marking design. Warning signs design. Regulatory signs design. Directional signs design and, TTM sign provision. TTM means, temporary traffic management. I will provide, a complete understanding, of urban street design, to cover followings. Design of, cycle facility. Crossing types. Toucan crossings. Puffin crossings. Pelican crossings. Disable friendly design. There are five types of cycle facilities cycle lane, cycle trail, shared cycle facilities with pedestrians, cycle tracks, and cycle ways. Cycle lanes are lanes on the carriageway that are reserved for cyclists. There are Two types of cycle lanes. Mandatory cycle lanes. And, advisory cycle lanes. I will provide, a complete understanding, of cycle lane design, at urban junction. How to provide, on road cycle lanes. How to provide, a right turn pocket, and. How to provide, ASL, means, advanced stack location, for cyclist. I hope, you have enjoyed this module. Please read, the disclaimer, for your information. Thank you.